Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape Volume 8. Um, this is going to be a short one, I can tell you now, because this is only a C15 look. Um, the idea, though, is just to find out what's on here and whether it still works or not. However, I think there's a bit of a giveaway with this one. It says, if you can see that, if it zooms in properly, it says Scrabble. Um, and we also have, on the other side, if I flip it over, we have... Boulder Dash. So, so I, I have a feeling that we're going to find, and that the things are still in here. So the, the record things are still in there. Want to record? Go on, zoom in. That's not going to do it. Right, um, and we got Boulder Dash and Scrabble. So, so we got Boulder Dash and Scrabble. I, I, I think this may be a short one. So, um, but I did promise in the last episode that I would do this one. So. Um, if those don't, those turn out to be sort of a bit of a, a bit of an easy one. Well, we're going to go with we're going to go with Batman. When in fact we're definitely going to go with Batman. So we're going to do Batman. We could do the Altered Beast um, playable demo as well from from this Your Sinclair tape, um, and 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 yeah, that's that's basically it. So so we're going to give without further ado. We're going to stick this in the drive, and uh, we're going to we're going to we're going to do do uh, what's the tape volume eight. Okay, so we're going to load this tape. Um, I'm actually hoping that it isn't just as simple as what it says on the tape, because I, 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 I kind of like it when we find some, 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 some history from from people, you know, the sort of those those um, you know, ghosts from the past and all the things that go with it. But anyway, load the dip because I assume it's that. Um, and we're on side A, and the one that says Scrabble. And I'm actually hoping it isn't Scrabble because. <laughs> It was nice to get the top 40 and all the other bits and pieces that go with it all, so, so I don't know. I'm hoping not. I've got the tape recorder beside me though, just in case, but if this comes up with the word Scrabble, I think it's probably going to be a given that the other side says Scrabble too. It uh, says uh, Bold Dash. Yeah, Scrabble. Now, this is, uh, this is a game by... Um, everybody seems to have a copy of this, by the way. If you haven't got three of them, or you haven't come across three of them, um, I'm, I'm, I'll be utterly amazed. I have, I have at least... Uh, he looks up at the top of his shelves. Has at least three or four copies. Um, and and the thing about it is that the the I don't I, I you know they'll all work. I would think they'll all work. Most of them will work. Um, but it would be nice. It would. I, there doesn't seem to be a market for them. Nobody wants Scrabble. If that makes sense, it's not going to be. You know, it's not a game that you you you. you well, not nobody wants Scrabble. What I want Scrabble, but I want the mint condition Scrabble. I don't want the ones that are a little bit rattier. I want the mint condition one that I've got for my collection, so it looks nice because I really quite like the the games from uh, um, Scion. Um, uh, I and I quite I quite liked those games. Um, the probably problem with Scrabble, of course, the back in the, the in the time times when these were made, 1983, for instance, is that they had a very limited dictionary. So, so as kids, we used to put in anything we liked, and then told it was a real word. Um, so, there would I don't know how many words there was in the actual dictionary. I'm half tempted now to get the copy down that I have up here to, to do it, but uh, I've actually got one from somebody who sold sold me a, a bunch of them, including Make a Chip, which I have at least seven copies of because everybody has Make a Chip as well, and Survival. There's this some there's some games that just everybody has isn't it it's like task word 2 everybody has those as well but but yeah you, you have all these copies of these games and but the ones i actually have that this particular set that was given to it was not given to me but i bought from from ebay which came with a thing was in, in a sort of uh, bundle was uh, was was actually sealed in plastic somebody I either rewrapped it or that's the way it came and i've i haven't yet opened it and i don't I feel I should open it. I'm I'm not one of these people because I, I I feel like I'm a gamer first and collector second, and 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 the games should be allowed to to smell the, the the fresh air and not be factory sealed for the rest of their lives. Um, I have actually I did actually buy an educational pack, and if I if I run out of tapes, which is probably going to happen, we're on eight eight now. I may have two more tapes, so we might have to finish after episode ten. Unless um any wish anybody wishes to donate some tapes that they 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 recorded in the past, um that they would like me to sort of try or ones that they've got from bundles um, but anyway yeah um so so the, the the you know it was an educational tape this thing um and and it's in it's sealed and i actually rec might record myself actually opening it and releasing it to the air the oxygen for the first time and then it'll probably not load but it, it it's just one of those things but but i think it'll be actually really nice to try that and try that game and and sort of and play it and, and finally and finally make that a new game 
uh, real. I actually saw um, a copy of Jet Set Willy, and this is before um, prices were shooting up recently because it's cost it's around Christmas as well. But um, I saw a copy for um, twenty five pounds, and it was a sealed copy of Jet Set Willy, and I almost bought it just so I could open it because I felt it was it was wrong that Jet that Jet Set Willy hadn't been played. It really was wrong. Um, there is a there's a there's a uh, a seller on eBay. He sells um, new old stock. Oh, I think we've crashed. We've definitely crashed. Oh, that's not a good start. Um, yeah, he sells no new old stock, and they he, when you open them up, you still get the little chads of paper, which is the cut holes where the things come, and they fall out, and they go look. Oh, little bits of paper. It's really quite cool though. Um, right. Um, that's not a very good start. But it's all right. I've got other things to try, so I'm gonna I'm I'm we're gonna call that bust. But we knew that was Scrabble. I don't think there's anything else on here. We'll just fast forward a bit, and we'll listen see if there's anything on. I'll just reset the spectrum. HDMI thing will pop up, but but um, I'm re must be ejecting it like an idiot. Yeah. All right. Fast forward and fast forward and fast forward in. It's still it's still making noise. That's the end of it. Now I wonder if there's anything at the end of it. No, did it? I don't think they will. This looks like one of these people who's very formularic. They, they kind of they did that. They knew that they were going to do this. This is the, this is what was going to be on that tape, and that was what's going to be on that tape only. Now I got silence. Uh oh, how disappointing. We were all looking forward to me writing bum, weren't we, in in, 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 uh, in Scrabble. I'm not very good with anything other than three letter words, so we'd have to stick with bum, wouldn't we? Anyway, right, okay, so that's that side of the tape complete. We'll flop it flip flop, flop it over we'll flop it over and we'll uh, we'll we'll see what see whether or not this actually turns out to be Boulder Dash, and I suspect it will be. As usual, I'm putting you through the trauma of actually recording the, the entire experience, because it's all about the experience. It's about the journey, not about the actual... Oh, that sounded... Interesting. Boulder. Yeah, definitely Boulder Dash, then. A lot of noise there in the background before that actually started loading. Quite interesting, really. This is somebody who bought these tapes and recorded, you know, and did uh, taped tapes um, from what, from probably from originals by the look of things. <clears throat> Seriously though, you, you really didn't need to copy Scrabble. I bet you could have got a copy for the you know, even back in the eighties. I bet there was just copies everywhere. How much was it though? Was it was that a nine nine? Was that nine pounds ninety nine p? Was that how much it was? Was it, it was quite an expensive game? Front runner. I don't recognize this version of boulder dash do i i don't think i do this is a different one. Oh, okay so we've got something interesting here fingers crossed it loads meet the challenge front runner meet the challenge boulder dash trademark i think of boulder dash there is a there is a there is a there is a specific one and i don't think the loading screen is this particular one I'm absolutely convinced of that, that this is not the loading screen for the for the version of Boulder Dash I'm thinking of. I may be wrong, and I, I like to be proved wrong. There's nothing wrong with being proved wrong. I quite I don't I'm quite frequently wrong with things, but 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 this looks like a different version of the game. First Star Software, 1984. Again, still not sure that this is the same version that I've got. Might be though. Now thinking about it. It's interesting though, you got one loading screen and a second loading screen, it seemed like an awful lot of effort, considering the amount of data that's required for loading the loading screen. Because when I used to write my own programs, and I, I didn't, I never got into to, to machine code, I really want to get into machine code, I used to make basic programs. I used to be able to, used to be able to load the screen, used to be able to save the screen, so you'd create a basic program that would create a screen, and then you'd save the screen. And then when you created your tape, you had, you had a, you had a little start program that basically loaded the screenshot first, and then that loaded and did whatever it did. So, um, but, the, but that, all that takes time, there's a lot of, there's a lot of time and effort required in that, loading that screen, running that screen putting it down the screen um it just seems a bit odd that 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 you would do one loading screen followed by swiftly by a second loading screen 
maybe it's the right version. I don't know. I'm, I'm very confused. I can't remember what the throne screen is. I wouldn't mind so much, but I actually played Boulder Dash not that long ago. It's a simple enough game. and You, you, you have to basically um, collect diamonds within a screen you by digging around in it or pushing boulders out of the way. It's effectively a puzzle game. It gets more and more complex the further you go on. You're against the time, and of course you can lose lives by having things drop on your head or creatures run into you. So it, 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 it's... it's I'm probably oversimplifying there. I don't think it was an arcade game though. It definitely wasn't an arcade game. It definitely feels like it was. It was just. It was always a. It was always a sort of. Uh, um, you know, a sort of early generation sort of uh, sort of um, eight bit game, possibly on other things. Don't know. You can tell me. Put it in the comments below because I I don't know these things sometimes. I don't. And I don't spend any time researching it, but to be fair, this is the very much the point of this game, these things anyway, just to try out these tapes and find out what the, what the deal is with them. I'm still suffering from the cold, I'm trying very hard not to cough. Oh no, we haven't loaded! <coughs> oh no, um, where's the run button? Oh, we're having not a good time here, nine minutes and you haven't seen nothing. Um, is it still got... No, that's all the music, that's all the sound gone. Let's just fast forward a little bit, see if this person has put anything else on here. No, I don't think so. Oh, how disappointing. Right, I have no idea though whether this is the same one that I had previously or not. If you if you want to have a look on my channel, please do. You might find You might find uh, that, that that that's the case. There's not much tape left here. Oh, it's just a bit a quick one, hasn't it? Last one was a mammoth hour and a half long video. This one, ten minutes thus far. Okay. Nah. That's it. That's our C15 finished. Well, that was uh, a bit of a disaster. Um, I, I, um, yeah. Okay. So it was a version of Boulder Dash we didn't get to see, and it was a, it was a, it was a copy of Scrabble that never loaded. Um, so I didn't get to write rude words into it and teach it all the rude words that are possible. I'm putting in the Vatman tape now, so we're going for that one. We're definitely going for the Vatman tape. Okay. Uh, do we think we'll load on the loader? We can go. Or we can can but try. Let's give it a go. Now I remember nothing about Vatman, and it's not Batman, it's Vatman. So V A T Man. I don't know whether it's actually about VAT, as in value added tax, or whether it's about VATs, as in VATs, the, the large containers that contain usually liquid or other things. Can't remember. Vatman, though. Now, your Sinclair exclusive. I don't know what generation it is, and I don't know what year it is. I've just pulled it out of the box, and I'm going for it. I only remember because I remember it. I mean, I played Dustin recently. Lots of people had lots of comments about Dustin, but they couldn't remember entirely what Dustin was all about. And I can't either. Um, I don't think it was released. There was a little bit of comments about it was released. Ooh. I love it when they change the loader. Don't, you know, just to do something different. I, I always like it when they go multicolours. You know, when they do all of the colours of the rainbow or all the colours of the... I say all the colours of the rainbow. All the colours of the ZX Spectrum rainbow. Um, but, interesting. I wonder if we're going to get a load screen. Oh, cool. Uh, Premiere. Ah, Joe Blade 3. He's here and we've given him his gun back. No wonder, because I played Joe Blade 2 recently and they haven't, he hasn't got a gun. What's that about? Mutant Fortress, I've got that. Super League, don't have that shark, that sounds good. I have, I don't have Elven Warrior, I don't have, I think, have I got War Machine? I don't know. Saigon Combat Unit. I've got quite a lot of those I don't have, not bad. I forgot about Premier. I actually thought Joe Blade was released by um, Codemasters when I originally picked it up, and then realised it wasn't, it was it was Premier who'd done it. Uh, it which is kind of, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it. It, 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 he was he was of quality enough that I thought it could have been a Codemasters game. I don't. Premier was one of those companies that I I saw for a bit, 
I don't remember an awful lot about. I don't remember what they had. However, I do like the designs of some of their boxes. They're really nice. Some of their budget titles. The cases are really, really nice. I wonder what this one's all about. It's Batman. I'm Batman. No, maybe not. <laughs> well, I'm excited about this one. Joe Blade 3, so that kind of dates this, so it's it's after Joe Blade 2, which I think was 88. 88. So this could be 89, possibly. I'm sure Joe Blade was 88. Joe Blade 2, that is. I might be wrong. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. Maybe there's a date on the when it comes on it. I'm glad they gave him his gun back though in Joe Blade 3 because he just he could just kick things. It was just pointless. I think that the 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 thugs could, could kick you in the th face as well as they went along. But uh, what a weird looking loader though. They did actually do the um, uh, what were they called? Fast super loaded game. I don't know. I can't remember the name now. Oh, it's on tip of my tongue. Whether you could actually play a game while you loaded, which was really impressive at the time. I was I was blown away by that. I definitely had Joe Blade too. I know I did. Um, I don't think I enjoyed it particularly, but I definitely had it. Hey, we're here. Right. Okay. Let's set keys. Number four. So we got punch. Oh, we got punch. And we got jump. And we got duck. Left. Right. Okay. Cool. One for keyboard. I'm not sure what we're doing. Go, Batman, go! Oh! He's... Pow! Sock! No! I wasn't gonna hit her! So he's like, he's like a superhero of sorts. Not meant to hit her. I quite like the way I bash people. There's no sound though, there's no music. It's very disappointing. I wonder what Batman's meant to do though. There's a door here. Should we go try and get through that door? That energy's alright so far. Okay, what's this about? Do you remember this game? Did you have this cover tape? Do you remember why what Batman was doing? What he was what his what ult ultimate game was? Is that, uh, the Oh, that man. Ah, energy. Yes, we've picked up some energy. But can I get any further up? Is that it? No, that's it. That's it. Right, so I've got my energy. I guess I just can make it to the end of the level. Use energy for hitting her. And them hitting me. Right, I'm lowering low of energy now. I do like the way they disappear though. They don't just kind of disappear, they kind of fly through the air. Okay, what's Batman meant to be doing? No! Dead! Game over! No idea! Ah, I've got spelt my name wrong. No idea. What's that about? Oh, there's a number of enemy. I'd look. I didn't see that before. Presents Batman. A realis realization by Simon Hobbs. Concept by Kevin Parker. Production by Simon Pajama Daniels. And it's also Simon Hobbs. Cobra Force. Um, climb to the cockpit. Oh well. Hey, that Cobra Force. That's awesome. That really is. And if you want, if you're of interest, if you want to know more about Cobra Force, have a little look because the developer of the game, I think he was 16 at the time, and he he commented on my on the actual page about Cobra Force. Um, I think I'd played it on the Vega, um, and he commented on the bottom of it about why why the design certain design choices were made because he was told to make it more exciting, um, and he misinterpreted the the developers or the the produced, produced, um, produced, 
producers' ideas, should I say. He misinterpreted the way that they wanted to do. What they wanted to do was make it sort of horizontally scrolling, and he ended up giving it almost like a gravity thing on the helicopter. But anyway, read it. It's, it's really quite interesting. Um, right, so I'm not seeing... Uh, 199 software psycho city the world of thugs and hugs i'm reading the bottom of it here shocking 3d lost caves and the tomb of doom subterranean nightmare yeah okay i loved the way that the games were churned out you know that the, they weren't all asset flips as such they were just they just kind of they just churned out i mean nowadays we talk about asset flips but they were churned and churned and churned and churned jabba doesn't want to say anything he's too busy working this game is dedicated to those people who put their interrupt tables in... Alright, oh okay. Won't work on a plus two ear. Will it not? I'm loading that right now. In November. Selling like hotcakes. No tomorrow. I'm just looking to see what date it is, Batman. No, so it doesn't actually say what it is. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to do, but if I press the button again, yeah, 200 enemies. So I've basically got to clear out the enemies to, to finish the level without punching the, the, the girls. So the, see how many enemies I've got now. That's it. So that's the aim of the game. That's it. That's the aim of the game. Punch the it's meant to clear out the enemies. But why are we called Batman? And those women that walk past, they're annoying. Ah, but there's a good way of dealing with it. Just stand up on here. No! Oh well. Oh, so that's the aim of the game anyway. Punch is meant to kill out the enemies out and have another go. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's not. I remember it being better than that. I, 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 for some reason, I had this whole idea of a of a platforming multiplayer kind of thing going on. But anyway, right. Okay, there's nothing else on that side, so we'll rewind it and we'll give the demo of Alter Beast a play. We might as well while we're here. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, and my horrible, horrible tickly throat. Right. Okay. Uh, we'll try with the one, two, eight K load. Uh, we'll see what happens. The plus two ear. It says Batman doesn't work on a plus two ear, but it does clearly, unless there was sound that was missing that was the reason why it wasn't working. So, um, plus two ear, and we're going for it. It's Altered Beast. This is based on the arcade game of the same name. Um, never a big fan. I felt they could do more with it. Um, even the arcade version, I always felt it was a bit of a... It was a fun concept, the whole mutating into beasts um, and sort of working and playing against the gods and, you know, dealing with sort of the whole Hades idea. I think it's... Is that... Uh, it's a Greek or is that... Um, or is that... Uh, oh. It's mythology anyway, but basically it's a case of the mythos of the whole thing of, of, of being able to sort of beat these creatures up as you went. It's quite... Wow, a load of different on this as well. I wonder if they did this specifically for this tape. Anyway, um, but yeah, it was... it was it, it, Yeah, I'm never a big fan of the Beast. Um, take it or leave it. I think a lot of people love it. Um, I'm not a... I wasn't, wasn't quite into it. can't remember the Spectrum version that well, I do remember, but I think it wasn't particularly good. It's a full-on Sega game. I always wondered, though, why Sega never... Did they ever redo it? Did they ever remake it? Did they ever, did they ever, did they ever upgrade some of the things? Because I, I always thought the kick was a bit pathetic, his little leg going out on his punch and things like that. It just didn't seem... Feel, it feels like they should have... It feels like Sega should have done more with Altered Beast. There, would, there was scope for other ones, because it was popular, as I say, maybe not with me, but with other people. Don't know. Anyway, I'm going to take a sup of coffee now. So if you've got one yourself, please do, because um, because uh, my throat is a bit a bit sort of croaky, a bit croaky. Oh, that's better. Right, excellent.
No, I'm not drinking. <laughs> Only coffee. I love coffee. It's good for you. Don't do tea. Coffee only. In fact, I can still, I'm still, I'm still, um, total number of teas I've drank. I don't think it's over. I don't think it's over the number of fingers on my hands and thumbs. Less than ten, basically. Never, never, but never really liked it. Just don't like, just don't like the taste. Never really got into it. Always drank coffee. I do like that they've changed the loader for it though. It's like that the, the your Sinclair went, let's just change the loader, let's do it on all of them. So it, it must be something in the very early part of it, you know, the initial sort of initial sort of setup program that originally runs, because that's what initially happens there. You always have that little kind of loady bit and then do the whole thing. I'd like to thank any, um, um, I can't remember who it was who said the other day about Starbike. You were absolutely correct, that was the name of the game that I was trying to remember. I was trying to remember the name of this game where you sort of, it was almost like Lunar Jetman but with a little bike that flew around and whatever else it is. And you were try, I was trying desperately hard to remember where I'd seen it before. Um, and, and I tried desperately hard to remember the game name. I actually have found it now. Um, not only have I found it, but I found a copy online and purchased that, which is great. Um, but I also found that it was on my software aid tape. Now, I hadn't realised how influential the software aid tape had been for me. Um, it was the one that was to do with um, Feed the World's Song. Um, and I remember at the time when I went to, to, to Blue at Smith's, I found the cover quite disturbing. The, 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 the Ethiopian child who uh, is clearly, um, and I think it's child and parent actually, it's, you know, a parent clutching a, a, a child, sort of, you know, in the middle of a desert with a sort of, uh, um, you know, just looking looking you know not particularly well very thin and whatever else it's because of the famine that was there but anyway um i digress so yeah but thank you to to, to ever uh, mentioned the star bike i do, do i can't remember your name off the top of my head so i do apologize but but yeah it was it was brilliant you've 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 you've, you've made my day with that because to be fair the box of star biker is utterly amazing so when i actually do get it and hopefully not too long um i'm i'm, I'm really looking forward to that so i'm going to change the keys now um up down left right fire okay let's play this game space to start oh arise that's what he says i'm doing the song voice and with, without with it, you know arise my son all oh, right this is the swamp level they put it on so it's kind of scrolling along and yeah it's this kick here however i'm gonna take it back um on the spectrum version they don't care about the color clash wow okay Alright, I take it all back. That is good. The white dogs you have to hit because they've got bits and pieces that come with them. Um, there's these dragon creatures. I can't remember how you do that. Yeah, and if you collect enough of those white dog things, they you mutate into the next beast, the altered beast. Um, we got little... There we go. See that thing? Ah! Yeah, I, I do. I give it back. I see, I've grown in size as well. I, you know why? Because they, they don't care about the colour clash, so they've coloured the characters. Somebody went to an awful lot of effort. Okay, I give up. I, 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 credit where credit is due. That is much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and in fact, they've cre they've co co copied the arcade elements here correctly. Um, ah! I've, I've de de depowered. Oh, I've, I've altered, and now I become this flying creature that can shoot and zap when I push up and fire. Oh yeah, that's right. So I'm like a lion, flying lion creature. Yeah, that's that's good actually. Take it all back, and it's a two-player on the spectrum. How about that? Can you can you can you think of anything more impressive though, realistically? And here's our, here's our big boss at the end. Yeah, and it was that creature, remember him. There we go. Zap him! Zap him! That's it. Wow. Okay. In in context of trying to make the arcade game as close to the to the to the to, to uh, or the Spectrum version as close to the arcade as possible, that is an incredibly good um, attempt. Um, I am 
I'm more than a little bit shocked and I'm more than a little bit impressed with with that. Um, as I say, I I wasn't. I'm not a big fan of it, but I can I can definitely appreciate when somebody's made a real effort there. So, um, you know. These are the days when we didn't think of Activision as the people who do microtransactions. You know, this is this is those those are the days. Um, yeah, no, I'm mightily impressed by that. Yeah, and and the 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 lack of care about the fact that we've we've got Color Clash, so that the creatures have like red lips and mouths and things, and and he has coloured shirts and green boots and and you know a cyan top. Yeah, brilliant, very good indeed. Very good indeed. And two player too. Wow. Amazing. So wrong. So wrong about this game. I genuinely now I'm genuinely now um, I'm, I'm, I'm in a position where I'm going. Yep, I'll definitely have to buy a copy for my my collection. It's not. Um, simply because it's such an impressive a, a take on the on the what what is you know on the arcade game that 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 that's out there. Wow! Arise! Here we go. It's bound to be princess related, isn't it? This game. The the reason why he's been brought from back from the grave. Oh, I've beaten him. Yes, shot him enough in the face. Oh, 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 takes all of my powers away from me. And I jump in and follow him to, to, to wherever I'm going to. I think that's probably the end of the demo, though. If it hasn't hung. That... Is the end of the demo. However, what a fantastic way to show off um, something that that's arcade related. If you uh, if you'd played the arcade game and you'd got the Spectrum version there, you would have been um, delighted with that. I think. Um, I don't know if I actually had it. It's another game I can remember. I probably did, but anyway. Right. So um, that's what's on the tape, Volume Eight. Um, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to donate a tape, however. Please uh, check out my my um, business email address or my email address that's on my on my about page on my uh, YouTube channel if you'd like to send a tape because um, I'm I'm ready for some more because I'm going to be ending at about volume ten at this point. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye.